afternoon and welcome back to the area. It's Mr. Lobjoit who gets this underway and Mr. Mensa who is back in the starting 11 clears the ball upfield. Today's opponents then are Barwell FC and they do win a free kick then early doors in this game. Bit about Barwell then, they've had a bit of a mixed start to the season. They occupy the bottom half of the table. They've lost more than they've won and that one ends up in Nathan McDonald's arms who uh, wears the gloves this afternoon. Well, Bedford Town then off the back of defeat midweek. That's a decent header, but almost opened the score in there. Ryan Blake not far away early on in this contest. Here come uh, Barwell then with a dangerous ball across the box. They pick it up on the far side now then, bit for better to think about. Huge appeal, in fact, I thought it was an appeal, it's a goal, in fact. And where has that come from? Barwell, seemingly out of nowhere, opened the score in here and it's um, kept things very quiet down this end. There you go, Bedford find themselves behind. Bedford Town nil, Barwell FC 1. Uh, the ball cannons off someone, ends up in Lewis Green's hands, who just tees up a shot, takes a deflection. On the edge of the area now, Lobjoit does uh, very well indeed, just chips the ball forward. Not on target, but uh, Bedford looking to respond after going a goal down. Well, here's Lobjoit then, who picks the ball up from a pretty deep position. It's a good looking ball. Finds Wilson Braithwaite, who plays it all down the line to Guyamfi now. Down this left hand side, he's just challenged by the defender. And uh, far well clear the line. Lobjoit chips the ball left footed outside, finds Wilson Braithwaite. And uh, he just holds up the ball slightly, looks for his options. It's a big strong challenge, holds his man off as well. Ball into the middle. Well, it was uncontested, but Bedford find themselves with a corner. Whistle blown in, it's Elliot Simmons who delivers. A couple of big bodies in the box for Bedford. Referee blows his whistle. And um, well, for a reason only the referee knows, I think it goes in Barwell's favour. Barwell again then comes forward. Mensa goes in. Uh, commits the free kick, the referee's convinced. Could be the first card. Good, good play. Well, I can confirm Mensa did receive a yellow card as the cross has floated in. Might see you down there. Corner then to Barwell. Ball in. Headed out by Bedford and then back out wide once again. Just a little shimmy. Gets the better of Guyamfi. Towards the back post. Still not out for Bedford. Oh, there's a man at the back here. This is dangerous for Bedford. They just don't look very switched on if we're being honest. Here comes the gear. Corner kick then. Simmons once again from this near side. Pops in. The referee once again blows the whistle. Much to the frustration of the Bedford uh, fans behind the goal. It goes Barwell's way. Here's Ryan Blake then. Picks the ball up on the halfway line. Chips the ball forward. Looking for Leon Lobjoy. Who takes it almost perfectly. Barwell though, however, do their duties in defence. And come away with the ball. Plays the ball back, however. Lobjoit just signals his intent here. Just sets himself and Bedford look to come from the back. It's Echo Coker's ball looking to break the Barwell defence. Uh, Noel Williams plays the ball back now. And Barwell come away. Bedford then inside this opening half an hour just failing to break the uh, back line of Barwell. They're holding strong. As Lobjoit finds Blake. Cuts inside. Shots high. And uh, Barwell come away with the ball. We're just over half an hour gone then as uh, Flanagan picks this up on the far side. Bedford just struggling to get behind this Barwell defence. They're holding strong. Substitution coming up here. Early doors. Well, throwing on the far side is better to make an early change then. Just over half an hour gone in this one. And it's Echo Coker who makes way for Gucci Solia. Interesting. It will shuffle the deck slightly for Bedford. As the ball's played to the far side now. And once again, Barwell get it away. This is about the third corner for Bedford. Each one has been um, stopped by the referee. And that one, however... Doesn't come to much. Here's uh, Guyamfi, long ball forward. That might be given. Referee keeps his whistle by his side on this occasion. And Bedford's still in possession. Go on, it. Go on, Here's Mensa. Yeah! Oh, Carl Mensa! Welcome back! Back in the starting 11, back in the team, and back in goal scoring ways. It's Carl Mensa. An ever aerial threat. Oh, Wins the header. Loops it over the keeper into the back of the net. 
and the scores are level once again. Come and see your score up, and it's Bedford Town 1, Barwell FC 1. Well, Bedford back on level terms then. Lobjoy finds Guyamfi, who has a shot from range. Wasn't too far away from that left hand post. Well, what's the response here from uh, Barwell? Well, a shot on target. McDonald deals with it. Well, shot from range here. It's uh, well, a long way off target in the end. This half time is not too far away now. Still 1 1. There might be one more chance before half time. As one additional minute goes up on the board on the far side. And uh, it's Barwell in possession now then. Well there won't be one more chance. The referee blows his whistle three times and that is the uh, half time break. It was Barwell who took an early lead, caught Bedford napping a little bit at the back. I'm going to have to watch the replay back myself to see what happened there. I thought it was an appeal for a penalty but Bedford Town responded suitably. Um, dug their heels in, kicked back and it was a Carl Mensa header that provided the equaliser for Bedford. As the teams go into the break here at the Erie, it is Bedford Town 1, Barwell 1. Second half is upon us. Mr. Lita gets us underway then, and uh, scores are level. It is most certainly all to play for in this second half. Barwell come forward now, nodded up by Lewis Green. And Barwell not content with Bedford's uh, defensive duties, keep knocking. Ball forward here, I mean made contact with the arm and there's some of us here that can't quite believe that decision <laughs> not me of course i'm impartial here's lobjoit then bedford have battled very hard in the midfield to win this back here's lobjoit drills it in dangerous area a bit for barwell to deal with throw on the near side then it's taken by josh flanagan who finds uh lobjoit just down this near side looks to take on two blue uh or <laughs> blue red orange shirts barwell shirts the goal kick. Flanagan's ball forward just bounces off the chest of the uh, Barwell man. Nice play, Scott Blakey! And uh, Henry Dunley does well. And as does Blake keeping the ball in play now then. Ball just played into the area. Lobjoit's lurking. Barwell deal with the advance. Well, here's Flanagan then to Blake. Blake just brings it down this right hand side now then. Skips forward with some intent. And where's that gone? It's gone for a corner, says the linesman. Chance for Bedford here. Well, here's Elliot Simmons then, who plays a short corner into Edward Jr. Gianti. Back out to Simmons. Delicate ball towards the back of the box. Mensa was lurking. Blake takes over. Back into the middle. Lobjoint rises on the volley from Gianti. Oh, they don't like it under pressure, Barwell. Here's uh, Leon who takes over now. Lobjoint! Left footed wide of the mark. But that's Bedford O'Brien, the pressure. Well, the pace of the game's a little slower than the first half, but it is Barwell who are in possession here. Seen a lot of the ball. Just stringing, um, well, quite a few passes together. The play resumes after what has been a, uh, well, a very, very long break in play. Guyamfi received a bit of treatment. Barwell made a sub. And um, there's going to be a lot of time added on at the end of this one as Barwell just again remain in control of the ball here. Still remains 1-1. That's a great challenge from Gucci, who has made a real impact after coming off the bench. But, uh, that one breaks down. Gucci again gets involved. Deems to uh, commit the foul. Barwell now then, who have seen a lot of the ball in the last 10-15 minutes or so. Just advance, dink it into the danger zone! Top left hand corner is enough to take the lead who has scored for Barwell. It puts their nose in front. I mean, Barwell have been seeing a lot of the possession, but that one came from the left-hand side, dinked in, and make no mistake, Bosch, you don't save those. Bedford Town 1, Barwell 2. Throw in now then, down this near side, just under 10 minutes remaining this one. That one's chipped into the, uh, into the sunshine. Junior Ganthi goes down, that's a free kick all day long. 
all day long. Possibly. <laughs> Not given by the referee. Well, goodness me, it's all sort of going on in the middle here now as this game gets a little heated. The free kick goes in favour of Barwell here. Well then, not long remaining in this one. I reckon about seven minutes or so. Bedford find themselves behind. It's been a well, reasonably uneventful second half. Not much has happened. It's been a slow pace to it. But Barwell ahead. As Dudley goes down, the referee thinks about it. Gives a free kick. And the ironic cheers tell you how many have gone Bedford's way in this second half. Well, free kick to Bedford then as they make a change. Nodded into the middle. It sort of floats over everyone. Well, uh, there was no contact at all there. Well, Barwell in possession now. Then Carl Mentz is in a very advanced position here. And with about five minutes left, perhaps less. Bedford are perhaps rolling the dice here. But Barwell are on the front foot. And they do have their noses in front. As they advance here with Lisa. Bedford looking to get the tackle in. Lewis Green does well. And the ball's clear. Well, there's been a lot of stoppages in this second half. The uh, linesman has just indicated one minute left, plus added time, which you would think. The referee has indicated there will be no less than six minutes added time. Well, I think mean, it's a bit generous. The referee's watch is perhaps a bit slow. I would have given it at least eight, but um, that's gone for a Bedford corner. Is there one more chance here for Bedford? Well, into stoppage time. Here comes the corner, swung in right-footed. Keeper gets a fist on it, and the referee once again has given a free kick in favour of Barwell. He's got an eagle eye out there. He's, he's well, very good vision, this referee. Still 2-1. Comments win that header. He's playing in an advanced position. Bedford looking to roll the dice, looking for something, and it's been pretty quiet up front in this second half. Not much in the way of chances for Bedford Town at all, but um, is there something in this locker, something in the back burner for Bedford in these dying embers? Gooch. Oh, that's not a good ball from Gucci, and um, it's gifted the game to Barwell. A goal either way now would probably have been enough, but um, it goes Barwell's way. And that um, in injury time will probably be enough for the away side. Well, there you go. Going for down one. Barwell three. Well, shot from Bedford, cannons off the crossbar. A goal now will make it a very interesting final couple of minutes. Bedford perhaps looking to throw everything forward here. Mentz is still in an advanced position, but with that clearance you feel perhaps this game is said and done. Played the full width of the pitch here to Aaron Sevier. Perhaps a consolation goal might be on the card. Shot from range, keeper will hold. And he will get the last touch of the game as Barwell see this one out. It's three points away from home. And a second half as a Bedford uh, viewpoint, well, never really got started. Despite the changes, Barwell have done enough. Gifted the final goal, perhaps a mistake at the back, take nothing away from Gucci, he's had a good game. However, what has been a slow second half and well, slightly painful much. viewing thank as a Bedford you. fan. Thank you. It has thank finished you. here at the Erie with a loss. Bedford Great Town 1, Barwell FC 3. Black cat round the belt. Well. <laughs> oh dear, it's pretty. Uh, the sun's shining, but there's a grey cloud hanging over our heads here. It's not been a. How many of you wanted a thing against the team? The officials today. Well. Shocking. Okay. Referee. <laughs> and that's from her, not me, <laughs> by the way. Yes, well that's it, um, on to the next one. It's been a grim second half, it's been a grim second half. On to the next one, which is not next week. Right. We've got two weeks now until our next game, is that correct? Tuesday the 29th. Tuesday the 29th, brilliant, I'm working. Superb, brilliant, fantastic. What great news. The sun's still shining though. I bought that back from Tenerife. We'll see you in the next one.
take it easy. Ta-da.